Taylor, have you heard anything from your mom? Your grandma ended up breaking a bone in one of her legs and is in the hospital now. I heard about that from her. And? She told me that she's not going to go and see Grandma, right? Grandma's really sad right now about that. And she said she wanted me to get you to go there. Dad, you do understand that both Mom and I hate Grandma with a passion, right? Well, I know that, but... But the fact that both of you aren't going to go and see her when she just broke one of her legs is very upsetting to me. Well, ever since I was little, that woman has been both rude and mean to me, and it's never stopped. You really think that I would want to go and see someone like that now? All she'd do is moan about the person I've become, and then whine some more about Mom. I'm sure she was just being strict with you in order to make you a great kid, right? She had to do that, because your mom always spoiled you. Mom was actually doing a very good job raising me. Whenever I'd do something bad, she'd punish me for it. And when I'd do something good, she'd praise me. I think it was only Mom who actually cared about raising me then. You think only your mom cared about you? Don't say such a thing. Had I never been around for you and her, then neither of you guys would be here, right? I don't think that's the case. Actually, if Mom was never around, it would be you who wouldn't be able to last, right? You can't even cook a meal by yourself, let alone live on your own in this house. You've left Mom in charge of literally doing everything for you all these years. I'm the one working a job full-time, so I don't have to do any of those things. Well, Mom had been working part-time for a while, right? Don't tell me you think she was actually working when it was just a part-time job. Don't compare that woman to me. All right, all right, understood. Now, I'm a busy woman, so I'll be going. Hold it right there. Ugh, what else do you want? Do you still have something to tell me about? I wanted to talk to you about your grandma's medical expenses. Help me out with them, just a little. Huh? You want me to help pay for them? After some time, I'm sure you'll be paid back for the help. But she needs some money right now to pay off those bills. Well, she's your mother, is she not? I don't even care about grandma that much, so why would I have to help her out financially? Taylor? The only reason you were able to come into this world is because your grandma gave birth to me long ago. And it was because she allowed me to be married to your mom that you're with us right now. Don't you ever forget about that. Thank you for pointing out the obvious there, Dad. But the only reason I've made it this far in life is because of the way Mom raised me. To be frank, I don't feel any form of thanks towards either you or Grandma at the moment. Who do you think it was that let you get that big tailor? I just told you this was all because of Mom. Had I never had her around me all that time to make sure I grew up strong, happy, and healthy, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. Right after I was born, was there anything else you did for me to help raise me, Dad? From what I've heard, you took the money that was given to me after being born that should have gone into my savings and used it for yourself, right? Your mom really loves to bring up the most useless stories to you. It really is your mom's fault that you've become such a sourpuss yourself. Always talking back to everyone like that without ever caring about their feelings. Mom has not done anything wrong. And the only reason I'm such a sourpuss now is because of you and Grandma, Dad. You have never acted like a father towards me. And whenever things weren't going your way, you'd lash out at Mom and I. Mom had been doing all the work for this family. Yet you continue to act like you're the one that's made it all happen. I really, really hate the man that you've become, Dad. I knew that you were such a failure of a child. You don't give any regard to the way your dad feels. And the fact that your mom only ever gave me a daughter <laughs> just goes to show how much of a useless woman she is as a wife. My mom was right about all of this. I should have left your mom the moment she gave birth to you. You really are a jerk, Dad. I will for sure not help you or Grandma out now after you said that. You think you could just talk about your dad like that? Well, I'm the one feeling like my father never wanted me in the first place because I came out a girl. 
You never once did anything for me growing up, so don't come to me asking for my help now. Both you and Grandma aren't even like family to me anymore. And honestly, you both haven't been for a very long time now. I don't care to hear anything else from you. All you're doing is pissing me off even more, so please stop trying to get in touch with me and take care of your mom yourself. Oh, Taylor, I'm sorry. You were texted by your dad again, weren't you? Did he end up saying anything else to you? Well, just a few things was all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I couldn't take him anymore and ended up saying a lot of things. It's because of me again that he went and lashed out at you. I'm really sorry about that. Mm, don't worry about it. This is not something I want you to be apologizing to me about. I should be apologizing to you as your mother. I really never thought that he would even start asking you of all people to help pay for his mother's medical bills like that. Is everything going to be alright? I'm sure they don't have the money to pay for those bills, right? Things will be alright there. I'll make sure to take care of all that for us. You will? But those bills are going to cost a lot of money and we shouldn't be paying them off. She's even in the hospital now, so there's no telling how high those bills will get. Everything will be just fine. So would you please stop worrying about it? Hey, Mom. Are you sure you don't want to come out and live with me? As long as just you come out here, I'll be able to take care of you, like you'd done for me. I would really love to move in with you. But thinking about your father... Years and years ago, your father and I both talked about things like divorce and that, but when that topic was brought up, he really freaked out, and it was almost like I'd be killed by him if I spoke about divorce again. You remember how upset he was then, right? He even started to call your office looking to talk with you about it. I can't let him cause you any trouble like that again. I don't care if he begins to freak out again like that. I'll make sure everyone at my work is aware of what's going on. And if he tried to come all the way here to get to me, I'd have the police called on him. Oh, I can't believe you were able to make it out of this house. Yet even now, that man is causing you all kinds of trouble. I'm so sorry for that, Taylor. You do not have to apologize for that monster's actions, Mom. He's the one that has to be held responsible for all of that. I know that right now you don't have anyone else besides myself to rely on, Mom. And Dad has made sure to not give you anything in order to keep you in that house with him. Recently, I have really begun thinking about it all, though. If I were to have just a little money, I could get out of this place and make it all the way to you and never have to see this man again. Oh, I should have tried harder to get my own income, and then I never would have had to be bothering you with all this. Don't say things like that, Mom. None of this is your fault, and you have not been a bother to me. I understand just how hard it must be for you to be around, Dad, all while you try to make some money for yourself. I get that it's no easy task. You already tried to live on your own once, but you didn't last long. That's why you had to choose to go back to that house and have a roof and everything over your head again, even though you were stuck with that monster again. Just know that this isn't the end for you, though, Mom, and that you can leave that man any time and come with me now. Thank you, Taylor, and thank you for staying with me as I deal with this man. But this man also happens to be really sad. He ended up having to be raised by a woman who would always abuse him as a kid, and she seems to think that she can just control anyone by any means necessary. Well... But Dad should be able to understand how you feel, since he had to go through similar things in the past with Grandma. But we both know that instead of feeling bad for both you and I, he joined his mother in taking out all his rage on us in order to control us. So don't act as though he really gets us. The only reason he hasn't gone on out like his mother and completely tied us or anything is because I've had enough strength to keep him at bay. But I know that this won't last forever and that if I continue to live with him as his wife, something really bad will happen to me. Yeah, I really do think you have to get away from him. I want you to become free again, Mom. So no matter what happens from here on out, know that I am on your side and am ready to help. 
Please, forget about what leaving him might do to me and be free, Mom. Be happy again. I guess I really will have to do something here soon, then. Thank you for everything, Taylor. I think I'm ready to make my final move with him. You're ready to? I have actually been thinking about talking to that man about divorce again recently. We both know that without me, he can't do anything himself, right? Well, that's true. He always has to have you around the house to get anything done at home. That's why I was thinking of using that as leverage with him. There is a chance that he'll go crazy again like last time. But I can't just let him hold on to me like this forever. So if talking to him this time really does lead me to running, I'm sorry. He might come after you and cause more problems. Don't worry about me. This last time he texted me, I was already prepared to ignore him. But I'm thinking this time, there's a way for me to keep him away from you. I know where to draw the line now, and will make sure he can't cross it. Hey, Taylor. If you hear anything from your mom, don't do anything to help her, alright? I mean that. What? I kicked your mom out of the house. And I've already gone and handed in our divorce forms to the courthouse. That woman will never be able to come around me again now. Dad, why the hell did you kick mom out like that? Is this what happened after she tried to talk to you again? Tried to talk to me again? Ah, uh, I guess she was going on about something really annoyingly. I didn't listen to any of it, though. What the hell? Your mom. She has done so much to take care of me for so long now, but she won't do a single thing for my mom? She was finally discharged from the hospital, yet she still told my mom no. What a witch. Remember how I told you that both mom and I hate grandma? She has been through more than I have when it comes to your mom's wrath. Of course she was going to say no to that. Every wife has to deal with their mother-in-law picking on them from time to time. Yet that witch thought she could act all high and mighty and say no to me again. I'm not giving a woman like that anything in this divorce. I'm going to make sure she's living on the streets forever now. Living on the streets forever? Dad, you don't know a thing about her then. From now on, Mom will be living in a very nice apartment complex. You really are such a dumbass. That woman's going to live in an apartment now? <laughs> With what money? She has nothing to her name. So there's no way she'll be able to afford even the most crappy of apartments. And when I kicked her out of the house, she had nothing else to say to me. Nothing she could say. Haha. <laughs> She doesn't need money to get what she wants. Mom happens to be the daughter of a very powerful business owner. Huh? She never had a father or anything. And the only parent she did have, her mother, ended up passing away long ago. Everyone thought she had no father, but we actually came across him not too long ago. He became sick and had been in the hospital, so his company went out looking for any family he had. He has a lot of money she's going to take. What? You're playing with me right now, right? Are you really telling me that your mom comes from a family with money? Here's the thing about mom's parents. Back in the day, her mom and dad were never given permission by their parents to get married. And after some time of trying to stay together, were forced to part ways. That's why, ever since she could remember, her mom was telling her she didn't have a father. You really think I'm going to believe a story like that? I'm sure that woman will come back to me. She'll come crying to me saying that she has nowhere left to go. And then she'll be willing to take care of my mom. Go ahead and keep thinking that. But we both know that without mom around, you won't be able to take care of yourself anymore. The fact that you kicked out the one person that was taking care of you just shows how little you actually use your brain. And to tell you the truth, she wanted to be kicked out. And now that she's gone, don't you ever talk to her again. Taylor, let me see your mom. I've tried calling her, but she won't pick up. Tell me where she is right now. Richard, it's me, your ex-wife. Would you please stop trying to talk to my daughter? Hey, where are you at right now? What the hell do you think you're doing dodging all of my phone calls? What do you think I'm doing? 
you and I are divorced now. I made sure to take all my important things with me before leaving the house. So there is nothing left between you and I. We're both strangers to one another now, right? Why do you keep trying to talk to me like I should be coming back to you? Come back here! Wh what did I just say? You divorced me and then kicked me out of that house. Well, I'm telling you it's alright to come back to my house now. And because I'm being so generous towards you, you can take care of my mom for me. I'm not going back. My life that I was living with you is over now, and I'm a new person. You already heard about me from Taylor, right? I'm not struggling with anything right now, and I'm totally fine being divorced from you. You really think I'd want to go back to that house now when I'm doing just fine here? Up until now, I've been the one giving you a place to live and food to eat. Have you forgotten all about that? If you're going to bring up something like that as a way of getting me to come back, then let me do the same. Up until now, I've been the one doing all the cooking and cleaning in that house for you. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Never getting a single day off from it all either. I was even paying for things like the groceries and such. Well then, you need to keep paying for that. I heard that you got quite a lot of money from your real father, right? Will you start taking care of my mom and I now? Then, can I ask that you pay for all that time I spent working for you in the house every single day? I'd also like my money back for all the groceries I bought for everyone, and the other bills I was told to pay. I never had any money for myself in that house. Heck, even after getting married to you, I don't ever remember getting any new clothing for myself. And that's because I had nothing left over after spending all my money on the house. I feel that you owe me more money than I should be owing you. So if you want us to pay one another back for the money we cost one another during our marriage, then allow me to get us a lawyer to look into all the money spent. How does that sound to you? I'll start playing around with me. Acting all tough now because you were given some money. I planned on getting divorced from you even before I found out about my real dad. I wanted to help out because I know how poorly things have been for you and your mom. That's why I was planning to talk with you before leaving. But you didn't listen to a single word I was saying. All you said to me was that if I was not going to take care of your mom, then it would be divorce and then you kicked me out. It's natural for the kids to take care of their mother when they become old, though. I don't think it is with you, though. I'm not even her kid. The person who is, though, is yourself, and yet you've done nothing to care for her. I'm tired of you both. And as for all the respect and such that I felt for you, I left that in the house the moment you kicked me out. I'm never going back there now. Listen, you're supposed to be quiet and do as you're told. You're the one besides your mom that seems to think that. I was acting that way for a while to keep you from blowing up on me again, but then you started to get Taylor involved in all your crap. It took some time for me to get here, but you are never going to bother myself or Taylor ever again. I'm going to have Taylor block your number on her phone now as well. And we'll let her company know that if you come into the property to call the police. Wait! Had you listened to what I wanted to tell you about all of this, then you would not be in the sad position you're in right now. Thank you for what little you did for Taylor and I. Now please, go and be a good little boy to your mom. Hey! Hold on for just a second. I get it now. You don't have to take care of my mom or anything. Dad, I got my phone back from Mom. She no longer wants to talk with you. It's you, Taylor? Tell your mom what I just said, please. Then she should be more than happy to come back to me. Mom will never go back to you. You have to understand that by now, right? But up until now, every time that I apologized to her for anything I'd done, she forgave me. Well, that version of Mom who is only forgiving in order to protect me and herself is gone. And the reason things are the way they are now is because of you, Dad. You had to rely on Mom for literally everything in your life. Yet you would still talk to her like you were in charge. And it wasn't even fair for you to act like that after all the things we'd done for you. Because while Mom was being harassed by your mom right in front of your eyes, and while she would come after me and say terrible things, you would just sit by and take her side. Well, no matter what I said to her, she'd never listen. 
And that's what you've been like. That's why just before you kicked mom out, she was going to try and tell you about how you needed to stop acting like your mom and finally take care of your family again. But you didn't even listen to that. I want to apologize to her now. Taylor, please, please let me talk to your mom again. I... I know if I don't have her around, I'll be screwed. It's too late now. You and her are nothing to one another anymore. And that's happened because of you. Mom had been trying for so long to keep this family together and somewhat happy. But you just never listened to her and let the abuse just keep on coming. You let Mom live on her own now and be happy with the time she has left. And I hope you understand, it might be you really soon now, who'll be living on the streets for good. After that, I continued to receive a lot of calls and texts from my dad, but both my mom and I agreed not to pick any of those calls up and to leave his texts unread. At the end of the day, I just went ahead and blocked his number, and I never heard a thing from him on my phone again. And after letting my company know that they should call the police on him if he continued to bother them, he never called the office phones again. From what my family on my dad's side of the family have told me, he was trying to take care of his mom at first, but considering she was such an awful person to be around and so selfish about things, he ended up putting her into a home. She had constantly whined and whined about putting her up in the home, but he told her that he couldn't take her constant complaining anymore and sent her out of his house and into the hands of two nurses. These days, in order to pay for the home to keep his mom there for good, my dad is having to work very hard to bring in the money he needs. I'm sure he's also starting to realize just how lucky he was to have my mom around, since she was the one using all her money to make sure he had really good food to eat every day. From here on out, I don't have any plans of ever contacting my dad again, and I'm hoping he gets to live the rest of his life old and alone. I don't even feel one bit bad for the guy, considering he didn't even want me because I came out a girl instead of a boy when my mom gave birth to me. And that whole time growing up, he never acted like a father to me, and forced my mom into doing everything for us, while also blaming her for my actions. As of right now, my mom is living a very stable life, having been given the apartment that her real dad had been living in all his time. The place is actually quite big, and because of that, my mom has had me move in with her to keep her company here. Although, I do have to say, I'm not used to living in such a tall building yet. So close to the top that when I look out the window, everyone is like an ant. But seeing that my mom is having the time of her life now being free from my dad, I can't be upset over living in such a wonderful new home. And when I look over to see my mom smiling again, I can let myself rest easy and actually think about fun things that both of us can go out and do again. I sometimes think to myself that it would have been so much better for us had we found her dad so much sooner. But at the same time, being contacted by him and his company at all was a real blessing. Both my mom and I are going to make sure that we both take it easy. In exchange for all that time, we had to sit in that house and endure the hell that my dad and grandma gave us. And of course, that means my mom needs to take things even easier than myself. Because if it wasn't for her being that strong and that patient, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.